the famous Demetria Devon Lovato was born on August 20, 1992 and is an American singer, songwriter, actress, and television personality. After appearing on the children's television series Barney and Friends, she rose to prominence for her role as Michi Torres in the Disney Channel musical television film Camp Rock and its sequel Camp Rock 2, The Final Jam in 2010. The former film's soundtrack included, This Is Me, Lovato's duet with Joe Jonas, which peaked in the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100. After signing with Hollywood Records, Lovato released her pop rock debut album, Don't Forget in, 2008, which debuted at number 2 on the Billboard 200. Its follow-up, Here We Go Again in, 2009, debuted at number 1 in the US, while its title track peaked in the top 15 of the country. Lovato's third studio album, Unbroken in 2011, experimented with pop and R&B. It spawned two singles, Skyscraper, which peaked in the top 10 of the US, and Give Your Heart a Break, which became her first number one single on the mainstream top 40 chart. Lovato's fourth studio album, Demi in 2013, debuted with US sales of 110,000 copies, her highest first week sales in the country. Its lead single, Heart Attack, peaked in the top 10 of the US, while also becoming her first top 3 single on the UK singles chart. For her fifth and sixth studio albums, Confident in 2015 and Tell Me You Love Me in 2017, Lovato infused soul and focused on more mature content as opposed to her previous work. The former granted Lovato her first Grammy Award nomination, while the latter became her first album to be certified platinum by the RIAA, and its lead single, Sorry Not Sorry, became her highest peaking single in the US, reaching number 6. On television, Lovato has starred as the titular character on Sunny with a Chance from 2009 to 2011, served as a judge and mentor on The X Factor USA in its second and third seasons, and appeared as a recurring character on Glee. Her struggles with personal issues received significant media attention in the 2010s, in response to which she published a book, Staying Strong, 365 Days a Year in 2013, and released a YouTube documentary about her life and career, Demi Lovato, Simply Complicated in 2017. In 2017, Billboard reported that Lovato has sold over 2 million albums and 20 million singles in the United States. She has received various awards, including an MTV Video Music Award, 14 Teen Choice Awards, 5 People's Choice Awards, and 2 Latin American Music Awards. She also holds one Guinness World Record, and was included on the Time 100 list in 2017. Outside of the entertainment industry, Lovato is an activist for several social causes. Demetria Devon Lovato was born on August 20, 1992 in Albuquerque, New Mexico to former Dallas Cowboys cheerleader Diana de la Garza and engineer and musician Patrick Martin Lovato. She has an older sister named Dallas, a younger maternal half-sister, actress Madison de la Garza, and an older paternal half-sister named Amber, whom she first spoke when she was 20. Lovato's parents divorced in mid-1994, shortly after her second birthday. Lovato's father was of Mexican descent, with mostly Spanish and Native American ancestors, and came from a family that has been living in New Mexico for generations, he also had distant Portuguese and Jewish ancestry. Her mother is of English and Irish ancestry. Through her father, Lovato is a descendant of Civil War Union veteran Francisco Perea and Santa Fe de Nuevo Mexico Governor Francisco Xavier Chavez. Lovato claims that through DNA testing she discovered that she is also of 16% Scandinavian descent and 1% of African descent. Lovato was raised in Dallas, Texas. She began playing piano at age 7 and guitar at 10, when she also began dancing and acting classes. In 2002, she began her career on the children's television series Barney and Friends, portraying the role of Angela. 
Lovato said in an interview on The Ellen DeGeneres Show that due to her acting career she was bullied so harshly that she asked for homeschooling, and received her high school diploma through homeschooling in May 2009, one year early. In 2006, Lovato appeared on Prison Break, and on Just Jordan the following year. From 2007 to 2008, Lovato played Charlotte Adams on the Disney Channel short series As the Bell Rings. Lovato auditioned for the channel's television film Camp Rock and series Sunny with a Chance during 2007 and got both roles. Lovato played the lead character, aspiring singer Michi Torres, in Camp Rock. The film premiered on June 20, 2008, to 8.9 million viewers. Gillian Flynn of Entertainment Weekly wrote that Lovato's acting skills were underwhelming and that she has the knee-jerk smile of someone who is often told she has a great smile. The film's soundtrack was released three days earlier however, the music was considered less current than that of High School Musical. It debuted at number three on the US Billboard 200, with 188,000 units sold in its first week of release. Lovato sang four songs on the soundtrack, including We Rock and This Is Me. The latter, Lovato's debut single, debuted at number 11 on the US Billboard Hot 100 and later peaked at number 9, marking her first entry on the chart. That summer, Lovato signed with Hollywood Records and began her Demi Live, warm-up tour before the release of her debut studio album, and appeared on the Jonas Brothers' Burnin' Up tour. Lovato's debut studio album, Don't Forget, was released on September 23, 2008, and was met with generally positive reviews from critics. Michael Slezik of Entertainment Weekly said, Demi Lovato might satisfy her tween fans but she won't be winning any rockers over with Don't Forget. The album debuted at number two in the US, with first week sales of 89,000 copies. Ten of its songs were co-written with the Jonas Brothers. Don't Forget was certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America RIAA, for US sales of over 500,000 copies. Its lead single, Get Back, was praised for its pop rock style and peaked at number 43 on the Billboard Hot 100, also selling over 560,000 copies in the United States. The album's second single, La La Land, was cited for its strong rock elements and peaked at number 52 in the US, and cracked the top 40 in Ireland and the United Kingdom. The music video for the song was directed by Brendan Malloy and Tim Wheeler. The third single and title track, Don't Forget, peaked at number 41 in the US. In 2009, Lovato recorded Send It On, a charity single and the theme song for Disney's Friends for Change, with co-stars The Jonas Brothers, Miley Cyrus and Selena Gomez. All proceeds from the song were donated to environmental charities supported by the Disney Worldwide Conservation Fund. Lovato's Disney Channel sitcom Sunny with a Chance, in which she played Sunny Munro, the newest cast member of the show within a show so random, premiered on February 8. Lovato's acting ability was described by Robert Lloyd of the Los Angeles Times as very good, and he compared her favorably to Hannah Montana star Miley Cyrus. That June, she starred alongside Selena Gomez in the Disney Channel film Princess Protection Program, in which Lovato portrayed Rosie Gonzalez Princess Rosalinda. The film, the fourth highest-rated Disney Channel original movie, premiered to 8.5 million viewers. Lovato's second studio album, Here We Go Again, was released on July 21, 2009, she described its acoustic style as similar to that of John Mayer. The album received favorable reviews from critics who appreciated its enjoyable pop-rock elements, echoing reviews of Don't Forget. Lovato's first number one album, it debuted atop the Billboard 200 with first week sales of 108,000 copies, and was later certified gold. The album's lead single and title track, Here We Go Again, debuted at number 59 on the Billboard Hot 100, and managed to peak at number 15, becoming Lovato's highest peaking solo single at the time. The song also peaked at number 68 on the Canadian Hot 100 and number 38 in New Zealand. Here We Go Again was additionally certified platinum in the US. The album's second and final single, Remember December failed to match the success of its predecessor, but peaked at number 80 on the UK singles chart. Lovato made her first 40-city national concert tour, Live In Concert, in support of Here We Go Again. 
The tour, from June 21 to August 21, 2009, had David Archuleta, KSM and Jordan Pruitt as opening acts. Lovato and Archuleta received the Choice Music Tour Award at the 2019 Choice Awards. In 2010, Lovato and Joe Jonas recorded Make a Wave as the second charity single for Disney's Friends for Change. In May of that year, Lovato guest starred as Haley May, a teenager with schizophrenia, in the sixth season Grey's Anatomy episode, Shiny Happy People. Although critics praised her versatility, they were underwhelmed by her acting and felt that her appearance was designed primarily to attract viewers. Later that year, she headlined her first international tour, Demi Lovato, live in concert, and joined the Jonas Brothers, live in concert tour as a guest. Camp Rock 2, the final jam, with Lovato reprising her role as Michi Torres, premiered on September 3, 2010. Critics were ambivalent about the film's plot, and it has a 40% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. However, Lovato's performance was called dependably appealing by Jennifer Armstrong of Entertainment Weekly. The film premiered to 8 million viewers, the number one cable television movie of the year by the number of viewers. Its accompanying soundtrack was released on August 10 with Lovato singing nine songs, including Can't Back Down and Wouldn't Change a Thing. The soundtrack debuted at number three on the Billboard 200, with first week sales of 41,000 copies. Jonas Brothers, live in concert was reworked to incorporate Lovato and the rest of the film's cast. It began on August 7, two weeks later than planned. The Sunny with a Chance soundtrack was released on October 5, Lovato sang on four tracks, including Me, Myself and Time. It debuted and peaked at number 163 on the Billboard 200, her lowest-selling soundtrack. In November 2010, Lovato announced her departure from Sunny with a Chance, putting her acting career on hiatus and ending the series, she later said that she would return to acting when she felt confident doing so. Her departure led to the actual spin-off series So Random, with the Sunny cast, featuring sketches from the former show within a show. The series was cancelled after one season. Lovato released her third studio album, Unbroken, on September 20, 2011. Begun in July 2010, the album experimented with R&B and featured less pop rock than her first two albums. Lyrically, Unbroken encompasses more mature themes as opposed to Lovato's previous work, with some songs focusing on Lovato's personal struggles. The album and its stylistic change received mixed reviews from critics, who praised Lovato's vocals and saw a growth in her musicianship due to the songs focusing on her struggles, but criticized the album's party songs and found the music to be more generic than her previous efforts. Unbroken debuted at number 4 in the US, selling 97,000 copies in its first week of release, it was later certified gold. Skyscraper, the lead single from Unbroken, was released on July 12, and was noted for its messages of self-worth and confidence. It debuted at number 10 in the US, selling 176,000 downloads during the first week of release, becoming Lovato's highest first week sales at the time. The song also became Lovato's highest peak single since This Is Me reached number 9 in July 2008, and it also debuted at number 2 on the Hot Digital Songs chart. Skyscraper received the Best Video with a Message Award at the September 2012 MTV Video Music Awards, and the track was also certified platinum by the RIAA and silver by the BPI. The album's second and final single, Give Your Heart a Break, was released on January 23, 2012, and later peaked on the Billboard Hot 100 at number 16, making Lovato's fourth highest peaking song at the time. It peaked at number 12 on the US Adult Top 40 chart and number 1 on the US Pop Songs chart. It also became the longest climb by a female artist to reach number 1 in the Pop Songs chart history, until 2019, when Halsey's feature on East Side broke the record. The song was certified triple platinum in the US. As of October 2014, Give Your Heart a Break sold 2.1 million digital copies. Billboard has rated the song as Lovato's best, calling it timeless. In May, Lovato became a judge and mentor for the second season of the US version of The X Factor, with a reported salary of $1 million. Joining Britney Spears, Simon Cowell, and L.A. Reid, it was speculated that she was chosen to attract a younger audience. Mentoring the young adults category, her final act Cece Frey finished sixth.
At the Minnesota State Fair in August, Lovato announced that after a pre-show performance at the 2012 MTV Video Music Awards she would release a single by December. On December 24, she released a video on her YouTube account of herself singing Angels Among Us dedicated to the victims of the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting. In March, she was confirmed as returning for the X Factor's third season, with her salary reportedly doubling. Lovato's fourth studio album, Demi was released on May 14, 2013. The album features influences of synth-pop and bubblegum pop and was met with generally positive reviews from music critics. Although John Carmichael of The New York Times found Lovato's transition fun, according to Entertainment Weekly it signified a less mature image. The album debuted at number 3 in the US, with first week sales of 110,000 copies, the highest selling debut week of Lovato's discography. It was also successful internationally, charting in the top 10 in New Zealand, Spain and the UK. The album has been certified gold in the US. The lead single from Demi, Heart Attack, was released on February 25, and debuted at number 12 in the US, with first week sales of 215,000 copies, the highest first week sales of Lovato's discography. The song peaked at number 10 Lovato's third showing in the US Top 10, and was also successful in the UK, Australia, and Europe. The second single, Made in the USA peaked at number 80 in the US. The third and fourth singles from Demi, Neon Lights and Really Don't Care, both peaked in the top 40 of the US, and at number 1 in the country's Dance Club Songs chart. They were also certified platinum in the US. Lovato later released a deluxe version of Demi, which was to include seven new tracks, consisting of four live performances and three studio recordings. One of these songs included a collaboration with Ali Murs on a song for his fourth studio album, entitled Up. Lovato contributed to the Mortal Instruments, City of Bones soundtrack album with Heart by Heart. On June 11, Lovato released an e-book, Demi, on iBooks. She planned to appear in at least six episodes of the fifth season of Glee, but she only appeared in four. She played Donnie, a struggling New York-based artist who befriends Rachel Berry and Santana Lopez and interacts with fellow newcomer Adam Lambert's character. Lovato debuted in the season's second episode, which aired on October 3rd, and made her final appearance in March 2014. On November 19, she released a book, Staying Strong, 365 Days a Year, which topped the New York Times bestseller list. She then agreed to write a memoir, which has yet to be released. While in The X Factor, her final act Ryan Page finished fifth. She announced her Neon Lights tour including a Canadian leg on September 29, 2013, which began February 9, 2014 and ended May 17. On October 21, she released her cover of Let It Go for the Disney film Frozen, which was released in theaters on November 27. Lovato's cover was described as more radio-friendly and pop as compared to the original by Adina Menzel. Lovato's cover appears in the movie's credits, and the song was promoted as the single for the film's soundtrack. The song peaked in the Billboard Hot 100 at number 38, spending 20 weeks on the chart. It was certified double platinum by the RIAA. On May 18, 2014, Somebody to You featuring Lovato was released as the fourth single from the Vamps' debut album, Meet the Vamps. On May 29, she announced her fourth concert tour and first world tour, covering 25 cities, the Demi World Tour, and its first North American dates. In November 2014, Lovato opened the UK shows on Enrique Iglesias' Sex and Love Tour. She also worked with her longtime friend Nick Jonas on a song for his self-titled album called Avalanche, released November 2014. Lovato was featured on Up, the second single from Ollie Murr's fourth studio album, Never Been Better. Lovato announced her skincare line called Devon by Demi to be available in December 2014. She released a music video for her song Nightingale on December 24, 2014. Lovato's fifth album, Confident, was released on October 16, 2015, and received generally positive reviews from music critics. The album debuted at number 2 on the Billboard 200 with first week sales of 98,000 copies. During the album's production, Lovato commented, I've already started recording for my new album, and I have plans to record during the tour. 
the sound just evolves into everything that I've been and everything that I want to become. She further stated, I've never been so sure of myself as an artist when it comes down to confidence, but not only personal things, but exactly what I want my sound to be and what I know I'm capable of and this album will give me the opportunity to show people what I can really do. In January 2019, the album was certified platinum by the RIAA, and has sold 1 million copies in the United States. In May 2015, Billboard revealed Lovato was in the process of starting an artist-centric new record label, Safehouse Records, of which she will be co-founder and co-owner. The label will be a partnership between her, Nick Jonas, and Lovato's manager Phil McIntyre, and will form part of a new collaborative arrangement with record label Island. Confident was released through the new venture deal. This will be Lovato's second multi-label venture of her career. She was formerly part of Jonas Records, a UMG Hollywood Jonas Brothers partnership, which is now defunct. Lovato released the lead single from Confident titled Cool for the Summer on July 1, 2015. The song attracted attention for its bi-curious theme and was a commercial success, peaking at number 11 on the US Billboard Hot 100 and being certified double platinum in the US on September 18, 2015. The title track Confident was released as the album's second single and peaked at number 21 on the Hot 100. On October 17, 2015, she performed a Cool for the Summer and Confident medley, as well as Stone Cold Melody on Saturday Night Live during the series' 41st season. Lovato was also featured on the re-release of Irresistible, the fourth single from Fall Out Boy's sixth studio album American Beauty American Psycho. The same month, she signed with the major modeling agency, Wilhelmina Models. Lovato released the music video for her R&B-infused song Waitin' For You featuring American rapper Syrah on October 22, 2015. On October 26, 2015, Lovato and Nick Jonas announced that they would tour together on the Future Now tour. She was honored with the first-ever Rulebreaker Award on December 11, 2015 at the 2015 Billboard Women in Music event. On March 21, 2016, Stone Cold was serviced as the third and final single from Confident. On July 1, 2016, Lovato released a new single titled Body Say to Promoter Tour. In February 2017, Lovato Executive produced a documentary, Beyond Silence, which follows three individuals and their experiences with mental illnesses including bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, depression, and anxiety. Lovato featured in Cheat Code's song No Promises, released in March 2017, and Jax Jones's Instruction along with Stefan Don, released in June 2017. In 2017, Lovato was included in Time's annual list of the 100 most influential people. On May 8, 2017, she announced a collaboration with sportswear line Fabletics to support the United Nations initiative, Girl Up. In July 2017, Lovato released Sorry Not Sorry as the first single from her sixth album, which became her highest charting song in New Zealand and the United States at number 6 as well as Australia at number 8. It also became her highest-selling song in the US for its 5X Platinum certification by RIAA. The album, titled Tell Me You Love Me, was released on September 29 and opened at number 3 on the US Billboard 200 with first-week sales of 78,000 copies. It received positive reviews from music critics and became Lovato's first album to be certified platinum in the US. On October 17, Lovato released Demi Lovato, Simply Complicated on YouTube, a documentary focusing on her life, career, and personal struggles. It was nominated for Best Music Documentary at the 2018 MTV Movie and TV Awards. In October 2017, Lovato announced tour dates for the North American leg of her Tell Me You Love Me World Tour, with special guests DJ Khaled and Kelani. She confirmed European and South American legs of the tour in the following months, and the tour commenced in February 2018. In November 2017, Lovato released the single Echeme La Culpa with Puerto Rican singer Luis Fonzi. Lovato performed at the March for Our Lives anti-gun violence rally in Washington, D.C. on March 24, 2018. In May, Christina Aguilera released a single from her album Liberation titled Fall in Line featuring Lovato, and she was also featured on Clean Bandit's song Solo. The latter became Lovato's first number one song in the United Kingdom. 
On June 21, Lovato released a new single titled Sober which she referred to as My Truth and discusses struggles with addiction and sobriety. On May 11, 2019, via an Instagram post, Lovato revealed that she had signed with a new manager, Scooter Braun. She shared that she couldn't be happier, inspired and excited to begin this next chapter. Throughout the year, Lovato teased fans on social media with hints of new music and revealed in August that a new album was on the way. In August 2019, it was revealed that Lovato had joined the cast of Eurovision Song Contest, The Story of Fire Saga, a Netflix original film, directed by David Dobkin, based on the song competition of the same name. Lovato is set to star alongside Will Ferrell and Rachel McAdams. This marks Lovato's first acting role since guest starring in Glee in 2013. Later in the month, after teasing that she had been working on a new project, Lovato revealed via an Instagram post that she would be making her return to television with a guest role in the final season of the NBC sitcom Will & Grace. In January 2020, it was revealed that Lovato would make her return to music later that month with a performance of her comeback single Anyone at the 62nd Annual Grammy Awards. The song was released on iTunes immediately following the performance. It marked Lovato's first musical appearance since her hiatus. On February 1, 2020, Lovato made a surprise appearance with Dan Plus Shea by performing their song Speechless on the Bud Light Super Bowl Music Fest. The following night, Lovato performed the Star Spangled Banner at Super Bowl 54. A few days later, Lovato revealed that she would host a talk show, Pillow Talk with Demi Lovato, to air on the new video streaming platform Quibi. On March 6, 2020, she released a new single titled I Love Me. On April 16, 2020, Lovato released a collaboration titled I'm Ready, with English singer-songwriter Sam Smith. Lovato has cited Christina Aguilera and Kelly Clarkson as her major musical influences. She has also cited Britney Spears, Rihanna, Carrie Hilson, Jennifer Lopez, Aretha Franklin, Gladys Knight, Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, Alex Johnson, Billie Holiday, The Spice Girls, and Billy Gilman as influences. About Gilman she said, We had the same voice range when I was young. I would practice to his songs all the time. In her teens, Lovato listened to metal and has said that John Mayer's songwriting has been a huge influence on her and that following the release of Unbroken, her musical style shifted towards hip-hop and R&B. Lovato says, I had a lot of respect for Whitney Houston, and Christina Aguilera, on some songs where she was really amazing and wasn't trying to be sexy or anything like that. About her admiration for Clarkson, Lovato says, I just thought she was a great role model. She was never publicly seen drinking and driving or wearing really scandalous clothes or anything like that. I feel like she set a really great example and she was extremely talented. Lovato's The Neon Lights Tour was inspired by Beyonce. Lovato possesses a soprano vocal range better source as needed and her singing voice has been widely acclaimed by music critics. Nick Levine of Digital Spy, commenting on her vocals for her album Don't Forget, stated, she's certainly a stronger singer than the Jonases. In fact, her full-bodied vocal performances are consistently impressive. Becky Brain of Idolater wrote that Lovato has a killer voice and the A-list material to put it to good use. According to Sophie Schilacci of The Hollywood Reporter, the singer has a voice that can silence even the harshest of critics. Something not often found in her peers. In a review of Lovato's sophomore studio album Here We Go Again, Jeff Mears from the Buffalo News wrote, Unlike so many of her Disney-fied peers, Lovato can really sing and it's refreshing she doesn't need auto-tune to mask any lack of natural ability. Upon working with Lovato on her third studio album Unbroken, Ryan Tedder stated, Demi blew me out of the water vocally. I had no idea how good her voice is. She's one of the best singers I've ever worked with. Literally, that good. I mean, she's a Kelly Clarkson-level vocalist. And Kelly has a set of pipes. He also commented on their work together on the song Neon Lights from Lovato's fourth studio album, saying, She, in pop music, has one of the biggest ranges, possibly the highest full-voice singer I've ever worked with. 
Tamsin Wills from Alter the Press commented on her vocals on Demi, stating it shows just how strong her vocal cords are and the variation of styles that she can completely work to make her own. In a review for the Neon Lights tour, Mike Wuzz's from Idolater commented you don't need shiny distractions when you can belt out songs like Demi and connect with the crowd on such an emotional level. In a review for the Demi World Tour, Marielle Wakeham from Los Angeles Magazine commented on Lovato's vocals, stating, For those who haven't bothered to follow Lovato's career, let's get something out of the way the girl can sing. Get over your fear of being judged by your Facebook friends and Spotify her discography, because you're going to have the last laugh five years down the road probably sooner when she wins a Grammy. At 22 years old, her vocal range is astounding. She went on to further describe her vocals as spectacular. Lovato was lauded for her performance of the Star Spangled Banner at Super Bowl 54 in 2020. Patrick Ryan of USA Today commended Lovato for delivering a flawless performance and reminding us she's one of the best vocalists in the industry today. He went on to note that she hit all the high notes with ease and ultimately even added some of her own riffs which he says resulted in a rendition that was uniquely and phenomenally hers. In May 2009, Lovato was named an Honorary Ambassador of Education by the American Partnership for Eosinophilic Disorders. As part of her involvement with Disney's Friends for Change, Lovato, the Jonas Brothers, Miley Cyrus and Selena Gomez recorded the initiative's theme song Send It On in 2009. The song debuted on the Billboard Hot 100 at number 20, and its proceeds were directed to environmental charities through the Disney Worldwide Conservation Fund. Lovato and Joe Jonas recorded another song, Make a Wave, for the charity in March 2010. She is also spokesperson for the Join the Surge campaign, Do Something, org and joining the surge by Clean and Clear, the latter is a national campaign encouraging teenagers to take action in their communities. Lovato was featured in a January 2010 public service announcement for Voto Latino to promote the organization's Be Counted campaign preparing for the 2010 United States Census. In October 2010 she was the spokeswoman for the anti-bullying organization, PACER. Lovato participated in the A-Day Made Better School Advocacy Campaign and has supported DonateMyDress.org, Kids Wish Network, Love Our Children USA, Street Jude Children's Research Hospital and City of Hope. In April 2012 she became a contributing editor of Seventeen magazine, describing her personal struggles to its female teenage audience. She became a spokesperson for the anti-bullying organization PACER and appeared on America's Next Top Model to speak out against bullying. In October Lovato was named the Ambassador of Mean Stinks, a campaign focused on eliminating bullying by girls. In May 2013 she was cited for her dedication as a mentor to teens and young adults with mental health problems at a National Children's Mental Health Awareness Day hosted by the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration in Washington. In late June 2013 Lovato announced the creation of the Lovato Treatment Scholarship Program, named for her late father, to pay treatment costs for mentally ill patients. In August 2013, she traveled to Kenya for her 21st birthday to participate in a program of the international charity organization Free the Children. In May 2014, Lovato was named the LA Pride Parade Grand Marshal and the lead performer for NYC Pride Week for her contribution to the LGBT community. Lovato has also become the face of human rights campaigns Americas for Marriage Equality. For the announcement of the campaign, Lovato stated whether you're LGBT or straight, your love is valid, beautiful and an incredible love. So let's protect love and strengthen the institution of marriage by allowing loving, caring and committed same-sex couples to legally marry. Please join me and the majority of American citizens who support marriage equality. On April 2, 2016, Lovato received the GLAAD Vanguard Award for making a significant difference in promoting equal rights for the LGBT community at the 27th GLAAD Media Awards Ceremony. As of September 2015, Lovato's name appears on the unclaimed Coogan list, which is a fund for child actors whose earnings were partially withheld, but which remain unclaimed by the former child performers. In June 2016, Lovato was among the artists that signed an open letter to stop gun violence, created by Billboard. That month, 
The Human Rights Campaign also released a video in tribute to the victims of the 2016 Orlando Gay Nightclub shooting. In the video, Lovato and others told the stories of the people killed there. In January 2017, Lovato returned to Kenya to participate in working with WE Movement to do work with women and children. In March 2017, as a celebration of five-year anniversary of sobriety, Lovato donated money to Los Angeles-based charities, randomly selecting a group of causes based on their work, which included animal, LGBT and adoption rights. End March 22, Lovato will be honored with the Artistic Award of Courage at the Jane and Terry Semmel Institute's biannual Open Mind Gala, which recognizes those who raise awareness and reduce the stigma of mental health issues. Lovato partnered with Fabletics in May 2017 on limited edition activewear collection. The collaboration was in support of the United Nations Foundation's Girl Up campaign to fund programs for some of the world's most marginalized adolescent girls. On September 23, 2017, Lovato was named a Global Citizen Ambassador for championing the mental health of thousands of children displaced within Iraq and other communities. Lovato and Global Citizen will fund the expansion of a Save the Children pilot program, healing and education through the arts, to violence scarred young people living around Kirkuk and Saladin Governorate, Iraq. In 2020, Lovato released a limited edition collection with Fabletics, where she pledged up to $125,000 to the COVID-19 pandemic relief efforts. In May 2020, Lovato spoke out against police brutality in support of the Black Lives Matter and condemned the police officers that were responsible for the death of George Floyd and for the shooting of Breonna Taylor. On her Instagram page, she shared links as to where to sign pledges, donate money to organizations supporting the Black Lives Matter movement, what resources to use to support black-owned businesses and spoke out against white privilege. In 2014, it was announced that Lovato would be named the new face of the Skechers footwear brand all the way through 2016. She also became the first ever brand ambassador for the makeup and beauty brand NYC New York Color. She started appearing in advertisement photos and campaign videos in early 2015. Lovato partnered with Shazam as part of the Demi World Tour in 2014. Through 2015, Lovato partnered with Tampax for the Radiant Collection to help encourage young women to wear what they want regardless of what time of the month it is. In June 2016, Lovato announced that the streaming service Tidal would be live streaming the very first date of the Future Now tour with Nick Jonas. Since 2017, Lovato has released workout collections with the women's athleisure brand Fabletics. Each collection released has donated proceeds to philanthropic organizations like United Nations Foundation's Girl Up campaign and COVID-19 relief efforts. In late 2017, Lovato became a brand ambassador for the JBL Audio Company. In 2018, Lovato became the spokesperson for the mug company, Ember. Lovato also became the face of Core Hydration's campaign, entitled, Finding Balance, Promoting the Perfectly pH Balanced Water. She became an initial investor of the core hydration brand after discovering it in 2015. Jaguar, JBL, Lyft, Ferrari, TikTok and Samsung products have been featured in Lovato's music videos. On her 18th birthday, Lovato bought a Mediterranean-style house in Los Angeles, California for her family. However, she decided to live in a sober house in Los Angeles after leaving rehab in January 2011. In September 2016, Lovato also purchased a Laurel Canyon home in Los Angeles for $8.3 million, which she sold in June 2020 for $8.25 million. Lovato had no interest in forging a relationship with her late father, Patrick, after his divorce from her mother. She has been vocal about her abusive and strained relationship with him. 
Demi Lovato's father Patrick died of cancer on June 22, 2013. After his death, Lovato said that he had been mentally ill, and in his honor she created the Lovato Treatment Scholarship Program. On July 22, 2020, Lovato announced her engagement to actor, Max Eric, whom she first publicly revealed her relationship with earlier the same year. In an Instagram post, she said she has never felt so unconditionally loved by someone in my life other than my parents' flaws and all. Demi Lovato get trained in martial arts. Lovato started training in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in 2016. As of 2019, she is ranked a blue belt in the martial art, which is derived from Jujutsu. Lovato had suffered from bipolar disorder, anorexia nervosa of binge type, self-harm, and being bullied before she went into rehab at the age of 18. On November 1, 2010, Lovato withdrew from the Jonas Brothers Live in Concert Tour, entering a treatment facility for physical and emotional issues. It was reported that she decided to enter treatment after punching female dancer Alex Welch. Her management and family convinced her she needed help. Lovato said she took 100%, full responsibility for the incident. On January 28, 2011, Lovato completed inpatient treatment at Timberline Knowles and returned home. She acknowledged that she had bulimia, had cut herself, and had been self-medicating with drugs and alcohol. She added that she, basically had a nervous breakdown, and was diagnosed with bipolar disorder during her treatment. Lovato later said that she had used cocaine several times a day and smuggled cocaine onto airplanes. In April 2011, Lovato became a contributing editor for Seventeen magazine, writing an article that described her struggles. In March 2012, MTV aired a documentary, Demi Lovato, Stay Strong, about her rehab and recovery. She began work on her fourth album the following month. In January 2013, it was reported that Lovato had been living in a sober living facility in Los Angeles for more than a year because she felt it was the best way to avoid returning to her addictions and eating disorder. Lovato celebrated the six-year anniversary of her sobriety on March 15, 2018. In her 2017 YouTube documentary Demi Lovato, Simply Complicated, Lovato revealed publicly that her treatment at Timberline Knowles was not entirely successful, stating that she still struggled with alcoholism and a cocaine addiction in the year following her stint in the treatment center and further revealing that she was in fact under the influence of cocaine while being interviewed about her sobriety for Demi Lovato, Stay Strong. Lovato also stated that her drug and alcohol addictions caused her to not only nearly overdose several times, but later began to impact her ability to perform and promote her third studio album Unbroken, referencing a 2012 performance on the 11th season of American Idol where she was severely hungover. After her management team had expressed their intentions to leave her, Lovato agreed to resume treatment and counseling for her addictions, leading to her move to a sober living facility in Los Angeles with roommates and responsibilities to help her overcome her drug and alcohol problems. On June 21, 2018, Lovato released Sober, in which she revealed she had relapsed after six years of sobriety. On July 24, 2018, she was rushed to the Cedars-Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles after emergency services were called to her home due to an opioid overdose. She was reported to be stable and recovering later in the day. She was hospitalized for two weeks and subsequently entered an inpatient rehab facility. In December 2018, Lovato took to Twitter to dismiss rumors about her overdose and went on to thank her fans. Lovato later revealed in an interview on The Ellen DeGeneres Show that her worsened struggles with bulimia in 2018 contributed to her eventual drug overdose, as she relapsed three months prior to the incident due to being extremely unhappy. Lovato attributed these struggles to the extreme measures that her former manager, Phil McIntyre, took to control what she ate. Lovato also explained that, along with the controlling nature of her management team, they did not provide her with the help she needed saying people checking what my orders at Starbucks were on my bank statements. Just little things like that. It led me to being really unhappy and my bulimia got really bad and I asked for help and I didn't receive the help that I needed. In the same interview, Lovato revealed that her thought process on the night she relapsed following six years of sobriety saying, I'm six years sober and I'm miserable. 
I'm even more miserable than I was when I was drinking. Why am I sober? When Lovato confronted her management team about her thoughts, they responded with, you're being very selfish, this would ruin things for not just you but for us as well, which she says it made her feel completely abandoned due to triggering her underlying abandonment issues with her biological father, and so she drank that night. Thank you for watching the last episode of Demi Lovato History, Life and Career. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel and leave a rating.